Let's do a quick crossover to the FMDQ exchange place for currency market analysis. And I'm being joined by the team leader, foreign currency dealing at Diamond Bank, Ada Mbachu. Good morning, Ada. Thank you very much for joining us on the program. Good morning. Now, the Apex Bank on Friday intervened in the FX uh, market, injecting about $337.33 million into the interbank retail secondary market intervention sales. How would you say the Naira has fared in the midst of these interventions? Yes, um, the central bank has continued to sustain the supply of FX through their various interventions. Yeah, there was a... Um, injection into the retail intervention last week and also an additional um, intervention in the wholesale and SME um, window of about um, $210 million. And this has actually caused a bit of stability in the FX market. We have seen the rates you know, trading around 360 levels. You see the power market has been stable at 361 and 362 levels. And then on the I and E, we have seen market trade um, at highest 364 levels. So the interventions and support from the central bank is doing a lot in the you know, um, FX market. Now, the investors and um, exporters market has been under a lot of pressure lately. What has been the reaction so far and the impact on the exchange rate? Yeah, the pressure at the I and E window is basically because of the movement or rather the capital flight from the foreign investors. Um, you have seen a lot of movement from the um, I and E market up down up um, out to the US Treasury as a reduce as a as a result of reduced confidence um, from the portfolio investment. But however, um, we saw reactions yesterday. We saw um, a lot of inflows in the market yesterday. We saw most of the sellers in the market um, playing in the market, and this is due to probably what the um, central bank has done so far in trying to boost and improve the confidence in that market. They have played on the um, fixed income side. You see them um, increase the OMO rate as high as um, from 13.5 to 14%, which is also a positive move. And also um, a bit um, um, you know, consolation to the foreign investors as they have seen more return on their investment. And as such, we saw trickles of inflows into the market. And these are the reactions that we have seen um, so far, rates was actually a bit stable. We didn't see um, a lot of hate, um, rate, um, rate hike in that market. And uh, we saw a marginal or maybe little or no depreciation in that market of about maybe 0.01%. And market traded, you know, smoothly at 364 levels yesterday. Now tell me, Ada, what prospect does the $2.8 billion euro bond, uh, what prospect does it have in providing the CBN sufficient legroom to sustain its FX interventions through the rest of the year? Well, on the issue of FX intervention and the reserve, the central bank has come out earlier to say that they can sustain demand um, the um, supply of FX in the market and also demand of import in that market over a period of 10 months. So the um, introduction of um, the, the 2.8 billion um, euro bond, uh, it may be, yes, will be an additional boost to the reserve. But however, the purpose of that 2.8 billion is basically on the, for the improvement of infrastructural development in the economy. And as such, um, we see that there's still a confidence around the Nigerian economy um, besides the um, euro bond sales, because a lot has been done by the federal government and Apex Bank to defend the currency. We have seen rates going as high as 14% and causing yields to go as high as 16%. And we have seen a lot of um, injections into that window. So um, though the, the, um, the euro bond um, move is positive, we, we should know that the central bank has actually positioned themselves to defend the Naira and also to sustain FX supply throughout the year. Now, just before I let you go, Ada, what's the outlook on the Naira this week? Well, the Naira is stable and, and it's, it's, it's expected to be stable throughout the week because of the positive signs we have seen. We have seen moves by the central bank to defend the Naira 
through you know the the improvement of their um, homo rates and also the continuous homo um, um, issuances in the market. We have also seen the yields on the fixed income securities as high as 15 and um, up to like 16 percent. So we see a positive outlook in the economy. We see a boost in, of um, investors' confidence in that market, and we hope to see more injections in that market. We also see um, the oil price going as high as $82, and we have projection of about $100 um, uh, um, uh, in the year. So okay. we'll, we'll likely see more accretion to that reserve. So we'll see the Naira moderating. There will, may be a slight depreciation, but we'll expect stability on the Naira. All right, thank you very much for your time. Ada Mbachu is the team lead foreign currency dealing at Diamond Bank.